Señor. Wow. Oh. Oh. Hey, I want you to know, earlier, there was some deliverance going on, but it wasn't even about that. You were sensing and feeling the realm of how God was moving. You were literally interceding and breaking things open. That's why you kept feeling shifts when you were standing back there. And I don't know if you've said this in your prayer time, but you're like, take me into the dark places. Take me into the places where you get angels here to shred gang members, different things like that. Going up to bikers and speaking the word, being set free, releasing the love of the Father, even as a young man. You truly are the Joshua generation. You are truly one that will take the next generation into the promised land. And I release the fire and the glory of God and you will never be the same. I even open up the seer realm right now in the name of Jesus. And even as Elijah called down fire from heaven, it goes even greater than that. You are going to call down the love of the Father, the love of the Father for your generation.
We thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, blessed, blessed, released, released into the kingdom of God to do your bidding, God, to do your bidding. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Strong apostolic covering on him. Signs and wonders that will continue to follow even now. Even now. Right now with her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I saw that light too. I saw that light. Ooh, oh, thank you, thank you. Ooh, there's more, there's more. Yeah, begin to draw what you see, because he's showing you the rooms. And not only he's showing you the rooms, he's showing you the different colors. As he shows his different colors, he's also showing you what he's releasing even now in this hour. What he's releasing, ah, oh, very cool. Uh, Yep. Mm -hmm. Why not me? Why not me? Why not me? You're not rebellious. You're not rebellious. No, you're not. What they try to put on you is false. Oh, see, come on. Oh, you see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You just don't want it. You don't want to wait. You don't want to wait. You don't want to wait. I want it now. I want it now. I want it now. God gave you that. He gave you that. He gave you that. That boldness, that tenacity. When you speak, the demons will tremble. They will tremble. They will tremble. That's why God made you to the point where you get mad, get mad. But take it out of the devil. Take it out of the devil. Oh, see, go to run out of our side. See, go to let us see. There it is. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. No, you ain't coming back. You ain't. You ain't. You ain't. You ain't. You ain't. You ain't. No, you're not. Ah, thank you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for liberty, Lord. I thank you for freedom. I thank you for liberty right now. In Jesus' mighty name, you are accepted. You are accepted. Thank you. Cool. Seek of that How you do it is just keep it occupied. Keep it occupied. Don't come and go. Stay. Stay. He keeps trying to come back to you over and over. He's scared of you. He's scared of you. 
from its root, from its root. No more. No more. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Yes, God. There it is. A new thing. A new thing. So long on the inside. Influence is around both of you. Both of you. That influence keeps being now, being now, being now, and listening to the voices. Great. You have the authority. You do. There's the heaviness on you. So what if they don't want to listen? So what if they don't want to listen? Let it go. Let it go. I didn't tell you that you would see the harvest, says God. I said, so. And as you sow it, but you're, you're getting mad because you didn't see the harvest. So that will make it grow, says God. Trust that I just tell you to sow. We're getting better. We're getting better. Let it go. Let it go. Yes, God. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that generational curse. I'm dealing with you right now. Right now. Oh yeah. Wow. You're not bearing. You're not bearing. You will have a child. You will have a child. And you can't give birth. Yes, God. Thank you. And don't worry about the child will be perfect. Perfect. No one will ever see it. It won't happen to this child. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Angel of death keeps trying to come out of the country. In Jesus' mighty name, we take authority over you and speak life into your spirit, life into your body. Know that you are called, man. You are called. You are called. Ah, thank you. Hmm. You both. Thank you. Is it going to change, or is it going to stay the same? Is it tied down, or do I have to continue to wait? I says it's tied now. Watch, you're going to shift out. It's shifting you out. Deliverance ministries are being released even right now, in this hour. And he's doing it on the young generation. He's bringing deliverance to people that want to receive deliverance. He's bringing deliverance. And he's using the young. This generation... You felt it. You felt it. There's a reason for it. There's a strong, strong call. It's a clarion call for those to rise up. Rise up and speak the word of the Lord. Not by prophecy, but by speaking deliverance to the generation. To the generation. If you see what was taking place, you'll see that we were dealing with entities that wanted to take young people out. And I'm looking at young. And I'm looking at generations before. Generations before. The gap came together. We work hand in hand with the old generation and the new generation together. For the work of God in this hour. If we have a display of God's glory. But we don't take what the message is in it. You'll miss it. You'll miss it. We can have an outpouring of God. And then walk away. And not say oh that was a great service. Why? Did you get the message of what he was doing? When God displayed his glory with the tabernacle. When he displayed it throughout the scriptures. There was purpose behind it. Not just to release it. There was purpose. Did it raise your faith? Yes. Why? Because it's going to take faith for what's to come. Well, I don't receive that. You don't have to. You don't have to. 
The reality is, is that God is doing a great work now, and He's bridging generational gaps and bringing a people together, where religion and creed is no longer what separates. It's the love of God that emanates through us. Through us. There's a purpose for God touching the young. There's a purpose for God touching the elders in the house. Because it's going to take both generations for the move of God that is coming, that is to stay. That is to stay. I felt a dew, a mist falling. I felt the rain. And when I felt it, I knew we weren't going to go to the traditional service. I knew. I felt it. The beautiful thing about it is, watch this. It wasn't on me. You understand that? I don't have a problem. I know my brother. I know my brother. That's why it's supposed to flow. <laughs> the glory is going to have its way. Because that's God. If you're expecting it on one person all the time, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. He'll use whomever, whenever. Right. All we've got to do is go. Do it. I have no problem with that. No problem with that. And I think that is so, so important for you to understand. You see your son? You see your son? Mm -hmm. Your son is getting blessed. Now let me get prophetic with this. Austin, Austin is getting filled with glory. Watch this. Austin is getting filled with glory. Austin is getting dealt with with God's glory. Austin, new wage, new, a new wave, a new age. That religion, that way of thinking, that way of feeling is being dealt with. You want to run to a crystal. You want to run to the trees. You want to talk to your inner energy. You're being dealt with with God's glory. God's glory. Because you can run, but you can't hide from God. You can try to hide behind legislation. Oh, look at here, look at here. Because I remember saying one time that the glory of God was beginning to go up the steps of the Capitol. Didn't I say that? I saw it coming up. I saw it going up into the legislature. I saw it going to the state Capitol. Why? Because the Capitol is being dealt with. And the glory is going to show Oh, there, yeah, you've got to take the message of what he's doing. We could leave here today. Oh, we have an up where we got slain. What did you get out of it? There's a message in everything that God does. Everything. You want to know why gems fall? You want to know why the gold does fall? You want to know why the oil falls? Because glory is falling. Because we're going above and beyond where we've ever been. When God does an outpouring of this, His Spirit, His, because there's purpose. I take that as a prophetic statement. You didn't think that was going to happen to you, Austin. You try to fight it. You looked at me with your eyes wide open. <laughs> and it hits you. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. Today's date is 3 6 11. Three is the number of God, six is the number of man. Let us pray that I'm shift. Three, six, and nine equals twenty. Two times ten. Together in perfect order. Together in perfect order, God will move. Two in agreement. Can put not one thousand, but ten thousand. What happened? He dealt with things. Well, I didn't get touched up there. You didn't have to get touched up here. You already dealt with it out there. I know when I, when I come in, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. And I will yield to God. Yield to God. It's not a traditional service. Thank God. Thank God. We've had church before so many times. I don't want to be the same old thing. I don't. But when my kids, my kids, get touched by God, Oh, yeah, we're doing something. Thank you, Lord. Because these kids are the hardest ones to reach out to. Yes, amen. We have been in services where pastors don't want to touch the youth. They want to keep the youth away. Bring me my Joshua. Bring me my Caleb. Go get my mountain. Go get my stuff. You want an ass of a man? Bring me my Jehu. Bring me my Jehu. It will 
will be radical for God and nothing will stop him once he gets going. That's the spirit. That's the spirit of God. That's where we're at. We're flowing and moving in a different realm. A different realm. I've been waiting for the day to minister with my brother James for a long time. Long time. I don't have a problem deferring. Defer, go, do whatever. Again, again. And it continues with you. It continues with you. That's the son of the house. That's the son of the house. God is dealing with sonship. Sonship. And in sonship, who gets glorified? God. Not me. I can't do nothing for this man. I can't do nothing for this man. But God is doing everything for them. For you. For these children. When you walk out, know that God will walk with you through any valley that you're in. When you get to your mountaintop, your peak, He's there with you too. He's never without you. And you're never without Him. So when God begins to move, what is He saying? What is He saying? We dealt with cancer and infirmities for a reason. Because the church has been sick. And there wasn't a cure. Man tried to do it from the pulpit. The only cure is God in the body, removing that which is afflicted. <coughs> There's a reason why we're in our paradigm shift. What does that mean? Since from the very beginning, God said, is shifting and turning. That's the paradigm shift. It's different. Is that what you said? No, actually, I, I just, you know, people that know me, I'm like a kid in a candy store. People are kind of like, whoa, you know, I, I'm just like, this is so awesome to me, you know, even <clears> just to be used in the kingdom of God with, with Daddy. But uh, I was looking for the text that I sent you. Do you still have that text? Yes. Would you read that? I read it. I read it last night. No, do you still have it right oh, now? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Let me get it. Let me save it. I'm saving all this stuff. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to ask me. About yeah, I didn't know I was going to ask you either. But he had said it four times now, and I think it's very prophetic in the understanding of it. If you would just read that about the rain. Thank you. 